Hello everyone, and Shablima and Ilya, the water drinkers. I am Jesse, <laughs> we came over to Jesse. Uh, here with us is Ilya and Shablima, again, the water drinkers. Today on the Zelda mailbag, as always, we're going to be answering your Zelda questions that you send in. Sometimes we don't have enough time to go through and answer every single question that we get. So if you would like to have your question guaranteed to be featured on the Zelda mailbag, please head to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can support the channel, help us out, and also get a bunch of really cool stuff such as guarantee, guarantee, I cannot talk, guaranteeing your question to be answered on the podcast as well as getting a shout out like these amazing people we have jacob who's actually j-link for those who don't know michael elmer bootleg boy gus justin that one pancake key of time 15 monica casey link use the triforce megan lunarium robbie shadow to us rusty and lovable christy so Ilya, starting us off, do you have a question picked out, or would you I'm like us to move looking. to someone else first? I am looking. Great. Yeah. Wow, I'm putting more questions into the Google Doc, and I have no idea why they're coming out that color, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, this person has like two questions in one thing, and I'm trying to figure out which one I should do. Uh. I'll do the second one first. So, Zinfandel Glitter, mm -hmm. whoa, asks, "What's the best girl for you in Zelda? Oh, we, we already did or that. Just... What? Yeah. Dang it. The video that went up earlier was literally who is the best oh, Zelda waifu. Oh, talking about waifu. our waifus. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. Dang That's it. okay because I was gonna say don't ever ship them, <laughs> <laughs> except for Scarlet Sword. Um. Well, then I'll do well. D the one before, did y'all do that one too? I don't know. What is uh, it? Uh, no. Okay, I'll do that one then. Zinf Zinfandel Glitter also asks, Do you think an origi original top-down Zelda is a dead game option? Honestly, if Nintendo does it, I think it'll work out. Just, I trust Nintendo. If they don't do it, then it probably is a dead option. If they do do it, then it's, there's probably a good reason and we'll probably all love it. Well, A Link Between Worlds was top down and that sold really well, right? Diagonal, but yeah. Which, I guess that would be a good example of them updating the option. Yeah. So, and then... so honestly, if Nintendo does it, because like, I think we've talked about this before, like when people are like, what if Link was a girl? What if... They made Zelda the main character, and th those are some things that I'm like, no, no, stick to tradition, whatever. But honestly, if Nintendo does it with one of their Zelda games, it's probably going to be great. Mm -hmm. And that's not me blindly following and loving Nintendo. That's just everything I've played from Nintendo Zelda-wise, for the most part, I have loved. I have no interest in playing Triforce Heroes. That is an exception. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, I'm like, even when I, like, I had doubts about Breath of the Wild, now it's like my favorite, so that's my answer. Uh, yeah, like Jesse mentioned, A Link Between Worlds is basically like a top-down. So, like, I don't think that it's too far out of the realm of realis being realistic, because, like... Did she freeze How else again? are we gonna do? Am I? Did I freeze? Yeah, yeah I Yeah, you have... Oh, a second. You had a very nice face that was frozen mm. on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you were trying to think, but you were kind of mad, but you were kind of <laughs> amused. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you guys... Okay. Alright, but yeah, I, I think... I would actually really love it if they did that. So... Between, like, we'll probably get, like, two or three Zelda games before the next big Zelda game comes out. Whatever the follow-up is to Breath of the Wild. Like, they're 2D 
team has been working on a 2D game since Triforce Heroes and A Link Between Worlds. They likely have another third party possibly working on some sort of spin-off or a remake. Like Hyrule Warriors did so well on the Wii U that they ported it to the 3DS. And then it did so well there, Nintendo let them do the same type of spin-off with Fire Emblem. And that did so well that they ended up bringing Hyrule Warriors to the Switch. So, I fully believe that Hyrule Warriors 2 could happen in the next couple of years. Uh, I think the 2D team is going to put out something, and I think it's very likely that some sort of remake or port is going to come to the Switch, whether it's like a port of Wind Waker or Twilight Princess HD or like Skyward Sword HD being remade for the Switch, I think something like that's going to happen. So with um, just the 2D game, what I would love to see is if Nintendo did their own sort of indie game, like we've seen um, Blossom Tales being like a 2D style Zelda game. Mm -hmm. If Nintendo did their own like twenty, thirty dollar indie style game that's just like you know, doesn't have the full budget of a game like a Link Between Worlds, but it is another game that looks similar to a Link to the Past or Minish Cap, and it's just, hey, we worked for like a year and a half on this game. It's the same length as a Link to the Past. It has everything else that you would expect from a retro sixteen bit style Zelda game then that would be really great. Like, we just seen Mega Man 11 come from Capcom, and that's not a big... Although it is a new, big, first-party game, it's not one that has the budget of something that you would expect from a typical Capcom game. So, if Nintendo did something like that, like their own version of Mega Man 11, to where it was just another <coughs> 2D top-down game in the style of A Link to the Past, I would really like it. Um, yeah, so next question. Jublima. My question comes from Carol Bitt. Are all Zelda games going to have voice actors like Joe, aka <laughs> Daruk? I mean, I like that they added voice actors and that they had these cutscenes in Breath of the Wild, I think that it really added just kind of like a little bit of extra flavor to the game. However, I feel like it was a lot of kind of extra work. And depending on like the different ways that they take Zelda throughout the next couple of years here, like I can't imagine that they're gonna keep following the same format like that. So like we probably will see voice acting, but it's not gonna happen in every single Legend of Zelda game. It's probably just gonna happen like here and there randomly when they start putting lots, I wouldn't say lots of effort because they put lots of effort in all of their, their games, but like Breath of the Wild was an open world game and based on how the storyline played out, it made more sense for the cutscenes to actually have voice acting because the cutscenes went for longer, whereas you don't just walk up to someone, you press A a couple of times, and you're like, cool, going to Death Mountain. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's and my thought on it. So this is, I think, similar to how I answered the last question. I think the big Zelda games are going to have it, like whatever the follow-up is to Breath of the Wild, because whether or not some people like the voice acting, like, you know, you can just read the text if that's what you want to do. And, like, Nintendo put voice acting, they tried a bunch of new stuff with Breath of the Wild, and it ended up winning them a ton of awards. So, chances are a lot of the new changes that we've seen in Breath of the Wild is going to make their way back into the next Zelda game, whether that's voice acting or whatever. Like, we've seen the stamina will first appear in Skyward Sword, and it returned in Breath of the Wild. So voice acting, I think, is going to make that same transition to the next one. But it could just be, like, how Hyrule Warriors had 
more of like a narration instead of actual voice acting. So maybe yeah. something like that. I think that would be really great for the smaller 2D games. Like, uh, because they typically start with giving you the backstory and everything. And instead of, uh, <laughs> like in Phantom Hourglass, whatever his name is, uh, Tetra's little sidekick pirate guy, he's like mm. telling you the story of what happened in Wind Waker. Instead of something like that happening, maybe it's just like while he's showing you the pictures, it has a narrator explaining it to you as well. So that's what I would like to see. But what about you, Ilya? Since you're like the only real voice actor person here. Uh, well, I would hope they continue to voice acting for a selfish reason, and that is if I'm able to <laughs> work hard. And well, I know I'm able to work hard, but get myself to a point where I could be in one. That would Just be cool. Just call up Patricia um, and be like, "Hey guys." Hey, remember me? Uh, call all of them and be like, "Remember." I swear I have some talent. But anyway, um, I think I echo actually a lot of what Jubilima said. And that is, it really did work for Breath of the Wild. As much as a lot of people didn't like it, um, it worked for the same reason she said. And that is, it was open world and you needed longer cutscenes to fill in for what you may not know if you didn't go to certain areas or if you chose to exclude it i personally like both ways because i do remember like i can hear in my head the sound the sounds that you hear like during twilight princess or wind waker or ocarina of time when it's just silent and you're reading it and then you press a and it makes the little sound as it goes to the next dialogue or i know i know i wasn't the only one that as a kid when you would do it with like friends or with siblings you all would add voices to it yourself so I, but I wasn't, like, sad that I didn't get to do that with Breath of the Wild. And it wasn't like I didn't get to do it at all. You could do it with any NPC. It was just the cutscenes you didn't. As far as do I actually think they're going to do it again? I think they will. I think they might try it again because for their first time doing it with Breath of the Wild, I had my serious doubts in the beginning, and then the more I played it and the more I listened to it, and maybe this is as a working voice actress myself, I I liked it and I was like, you know, for your first time there were some things that I didn't like but those were all directional things, all things that the directors asked them to do. Or I didn't like how that line was written, but I can't get too mad about that because they're having to match it perfectly to something that was originally Japanese. Um which that might be someone's argument for why they shouldn't do it, but I would honest, honestly say Nintendo will accept the challenge. They already did, and I can see them getting better and better with it. Um, to anyone who says the voice acting was crap, I was with you in the beginning, and now I'm totally against you. Um, they had solid voice actors and voice actresses, and despite me not liking some of the directions that the directors took with them, they're phenomenal voice actors in and of themselves, and they really fit. And, at, and again, this might be as an actress myself, I really appreciate what they did. Because for me, playing Zelda is half a theatrical experience because there's a story, there's characters, there's all this crazy music, amazing music. God bless Koji Kondo. <laughs> um, and whoever else works on them, like Breath of the Wild and Twilight Princess were different people, I think. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I think they will. I could go on forever about it. I should just make a video about that. <laughs> um, um, they... I think they will do it, and I think it'll just continue to get better and better. And I hope they do, so I can do one one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah! <sighs> hmm. Or I should emphasize, I think they'll do it where they believe it's necessary. If the next Zelda game, they don't see it as a necessity, they won't do it. Mm -hmm. They're very good about cutting out unnecessary stuff. Except for the Triforce Fetch quest in Wind Waker, but they fixed that. All they right. fixed it. Hey everyone, it's me again, Elia Rose. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And you know what? If you're a fan of videos like this, you should totally subscribe and give this video a like. And comment below to let us know what type of videos you would like to see us create in the future. And if you would really like to support all of us here at the Game Over Jesse channel, 
please consider purchasing a Game Over Jesse t-shirt or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where you can receive many rewards, such as getting shoutouts, having any topic or theory that you select discussed on the podcast or made into its own video, having your question answered, joining on as a guest on the podcast, and playing with us during our Twitch live streams at twitch.tv slash gameoverjesse, and much, much more. <laughs>